China, they have launched their um, metaverse pilot uh, programs in, in Shanghai uh, for urban, urban planning, urban infrastructures. Um, and, and they are planning to move most of their uh, services, businesses, education, government activities, um, creativity, arts, uh, education, uh, uh, into the metaverse. Japan is doing something really interesting. Um, they have built these metaverse economic zones, which is um, essentially a, a consortium, a collaboration of um, um, tech giants, Fujitsu, Mitsubishi, and others, coming together to build an open metaverse. I, I'm not sure how open it's going to be. Um, from, from what I can see, it's going to be a hybrid metaverse. Uh, so not just one company, one Facebook in, in charge of the metaverse, but a consortium, a collaboration, a conglomerate of these um, uh, 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 tech giants. And, and quite, quite interesting concepts, uh, auto-learning avatars and multi-magic passports and, and so on. So you, need, so you have this MMP, this multi-magic passport, and you can enter and explore all the different metaverses that are being created by these tech giants. Accenture, um, banks have entered the metaverse. And um, around, uh, uh, they conducted a survey, around 67% uh, of Global banking executives believe that uh, metaverse is going to be uh, transformational. 38% uh, believe that it's going to be significant for the banking industry. And 92% believe that uh, interoperability is going to be one of the key factors when it comes to banks in the metaverse and how they exchange data and transact data uh, and so on. And these are some of the banks that are in the metaverse. Uh, JP Morgan was the first one in Decentraland, uh, CBI, Signum and others. That's me, that's my avatar, um, exploring uh, the CBI bank. They also have an ATM in the metaverse. 